you, Jesus. Anybody come to magnify his Lord, name? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's worthy. Because the Lord is He's worthy. worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be yes, praised. Yes. From the rising of the sun oh, to the going down oh, of the sun. God is worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Yeah. My God is worthy. Yes, he is. Oh, He's worthy of the glory. Yes, he He's worthy of He's the worthy. honor. Oh, He's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy oh, to be praised. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody come on and wave your hand to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and lift your hands to Hallelujah. the Lord. Come on and take your mind off everything else. Leave it at the altar of the Lord. Leave all of your weights. Leave all of your trouble. Tennis, you got to go. Sickness, you got to go. We bind you in the name of Jesus. Lord, come on in. Come on in, Jesus. Somebody tell him, come on in, God. Come on in, God. Come on in, God. Come on in, Lord. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're worthy. You're worthy. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Hey, God, thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Completely, yes. My Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. To the depths of my soul. To the depths of my soul. So, I'm telling you, yes, Lord. Completely, yes. My soul, my soul, my soul says yes. yes. Come on, one more time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, to the depths of my soul. love them on this morning. Come on. I love you. Yes, Lord, I love you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. Come on, saints, come on. Yes, Lord, to the depths of my soul. Oh! 
tell me yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Come on and tell me yes, Lord. Yes, Come on and tell me yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Come on and tell me yes, yes, Lord. From the bottom yes, of my heart yes, to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Lord, I tell you yes, yes God. Have yes, your way, Jesus. Yes, in my Lord. life, Lord. Yes, I tell you yes, Lord. I tell you yes, Lord. I tell you yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and tell them thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy. Oh, glory to God. Much thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God is worthy of the Hallelujah. praises on today. Somebody come on and bless the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands glory together. To God. Come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Come on and put your thank hands God. together. Come on and bless the Lord. Oh, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. It don't matter what I'm going through. Hallelujah. It don't matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. Because I'm walking by faith. And I'm not walking by sight. I'm leaning and I'm trusting on the Lord. So I always got to praise for him. I always got to thank you, Jesus, for him. Because it's worthy to be praised. I give it to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My, 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 my. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody come on and tell them thank you, Jesus. Sometimes, only one. Before we roll at our list of things we need him to do, he just want to thank you. He's want to thank you on this morning. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I appreciate you. Somebody tell him thank you. He didn't have to wake me up this morning. He did not have to clothe me in my right mind. But he did, and I tell him, thank you. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I believe if a couple of saints will just lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands to the Lord. And just close your eyes. Quit looking at everybody. Look at the Lord. Look at what he's been to you. Look at what he brought you through. And lift your hands. And tell the Lord God, thank you. I should be here. But you brought me this far. I should have my mind. But you call me when my mind stayed on you. And Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Anointing. Anointing. Let it fall on me. The anointing. Let it fall. power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anointing fall on me. The anointing let it fall Anointing, fall on, 
I need you to follow me. Lord, I need your anointing to follow me. Anointing fall. Cover me, cover me in your blood. Anointing, anointing fall on me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We need your anointing, God. Thank you, Lord. We need your presence. Thank you, Jesus. We need your anointing. Thank you, Lord, to come on down, God. Thank you, Jesus, to refresh us, oh God. We need your anointing, Lord, to fall on us. Thank you, Lord. Somebody come on and tell God, thank you. Thank you. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me let the power of that stay right there the holy ghost fall on me come on somebody come on let the power of the holy ghost fall on me anybody want the power let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give God the praise. Come on and give God the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a little tired on the day, but it's okay. Thank you, Lord, because great is he that's on the inside of me than he that is in the world. Lord, I thank you on today. I praise you on today. Lord, we need your anointing. Lord, we want your anointing. Lord, we need your anointing. Lord, have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. Don't mind waiting. I don't mind wait, waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Come on, somebody help me. I don't mind waiting. No, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind waiting on the Lord, on the Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting.
do my waiting, waiting on my blessing. Waiting, Lord Jesus, for you to save my family. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. Whatever that thing is that you need from God is on the way. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Jesus. I wait on you, Jesus. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Waiting on my breakthrough. Waiting on my healing. Waiting on my deliverance. Anybody on today? Are you all right with waiting? I'm not saying wait no mama. And I'm not saying wait no daddy. But do you mind waiting on the Lord? Those things that you ask God. Those things that you laid at his feet. If you will just wait on them. Wait on God. He will give you the desires of your heart. If you just wait on them. Don't get in a hurry. Don't wait on the Lord. He want to give you the best. He don't want you to settle for less. But if you wait on them, if you wait on them, oh my God, the Bible said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk all day and they won't faint. If you just wait on them, you got to wait on them. You got to wait on them. You got to wait on the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I'll wait on you, Lord. Will you wait? Wait on the Lord. Oh, yeah. Will you wait on Jesus? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody. Hallelujah. Anybody don't mind waiting on Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Somebody. Yes, Lord. Waiting patiently. Waiting, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah, yes, Lord. Rain down. Thank you, Jesus. Bless me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless me, Jesus. I need a blessing. I need a blessing, Lord. Bless me, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Bless me. Thank you, Jesus. I, Thank I you, Lord. Praise. Thank you, Jesus. I got to praise and I got to give it out. I got to praise. Do you, do you have a praise? Do you have a praise and you got to give it out? Do you got to praise? I, I got to praise. I got to praise and I got to get it out. I got to praise. Yeah. 
praise him. I gotta praise, I gotta praise that I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Woo-hoo. Praise him, 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 Stirred up in the house. Anybody? Stirred up in the house. All right. Anybody? God has been good to you. Come on. Hey, glory to God. You just can't sit down on yourself. Hallelujah. You got the glad glass. Hey. Woo. Yeah. We woke you up this morning. Started you on your way. Woo. <laughs> Woo! The God Almighty brought you through the pandemic. Whoa, good God Almighty. Brought you through COVID-19. Good God Almighty. Woo! Woo! Good God Almighty. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You feel so good. Oh, Lord, have mercy. It wasn't nothing so great that you did. But it was a mercy of the good God Almighty, the good Lord. Oh, the God Almighty, why can't you sit down on the good Lord? Oh, Lord, have mercy. I know it's been good to all of us, but Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Lord, Jesus, have mercy, man. Carter, oh, Lord, something down on the inside that got me stirred up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. We got some speakers on today. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Some powerhouses. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And I know they're ready to bring the word. Lord, Jesus, two men of God. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Two dynamic speakers. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. We're going to travel down. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna cruise, we're gonna stay right here in Dublin, Georgia. Lord have mercy, Jesus and y'all. Now, we're not gonna grill today. Amen, praise God. But, hallelujah, if you ready to fire up, hallelujah, he's not gonna fire up the grill today, but he's gonna fire up in the word. So get ready to get fired up. Hallelujah. No, we're gonna have, we're gonna be the God. All right, we're getting ready to get fired up in the word of God today. Hallelujah. As I get ready to bring forth our first speaker, Elder Wimley Will Cox. Stand to your feet, amen. Stand to your feet, amen. And give it up for Elder Wimley Will Cox. Oh, come on and praise him. Oh, come on and praise him. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. Oh, you ought to come on and give God some praise in this house. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Let, let, me, let, let me get this protocol out of the way right quick before I get carried away. Amen. Truly giving honor to God to the head of my life. To uh, the man and the woman of God of this hour. Our apostle. The man of the hour and his sweet, sweet lady. W J N man, twenty six years, and to my sweet wife, missionary, and to everybody. You may be seated. To everybody, to my elder, to everybody that's in the body of Christ, elder. You know, 
let me let me get this out of the way. I guess I don't know how much time I got, but I'm like this. I'm gonna preach five minutes, I'm gonna sing five minutes, and I'm gonna talk about the pastor five minutes, and I'm gonna get on out the way. Is that all right? <laughs> He's a real, real, Jesus is real to me. Uh. enough to clap your hands on right there. Is he real to you? Oh, I don't think he's real to you. He woke you up this morning, clothed in your right mind, and activity, and use of your limb. He's so real to me. He's so real to me, Pastor. So many people died, but I, I, I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. Oh, you ought to come on give God some praise. If you love him this morning, you ought to clap your hands and tell God thank you. Tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so good to me, Ella. He real. Ain't he real, y'all? Huh? When that truck come out in front of you, you didn't even see it, he made it get out the way. He's so real. Hey Amen. You know, it's been so much said about the man and the woman of God this week. Tell uh, I don't even know where to go. But I'm going to say a few things and I'm going to give you a scripture. And I'm going to go down the road for a little bit and I'm going to sit down. And let Elder take you home, amen? Truly, I thank God for this awesome man of God and this lovely woman that I have been under now 14 years. Huh? Don't seem like 14. And before I met him in Mount Sinai Eastman, I met him in Vidalia. Before he became my pastor, let me let me drop a just a nugget or two on y'all. 
about this man of God. Not only is he helpers of his people, his family, strength. I didn't even know him. He wasn't even a pastor. And when I got to meet him and began to go to Bible study and began to fellowship, went down to Ludwig and, you know, met Apostle McManus, who was a piece of work, an awesome man of God. And I began to hear about Bishop Emman. He was a bishop then. And I began, every chance I got, I was trying to get to Eastman. I was trying to get to where y'all was having Bible study. And uh, me and my wife was going through little difficult times. And uh, I began to, I've always been a kind of fast and praying person. And I began to fast and pray and seek God for some understanding and going through some financial difficulties. And the Lord would say, call Bishop Emma. And then when I tell my wife, you see a couple of times, she said, well, call Bishop. And this man never turned me down. I wasn't even his member. But God saw favor with him to give me favor in my heart that I was a man that loved people. And one thing about it, I learned good, bad, up or down, you got to love people. Oh, y'all ain't going to say too many. I won't, I won't, y'all ain't going to say too much today. Because I'm going to talk about the man of God that loves people. And without love, it cherishes nothing. It don't matter. And I know they're going to talk about you. It really is. They're going to talk about you if you do good or bad. So if I would do good, give them something to talk about. Eh, Ella? They're going to talk about you anyway. Amen? So, you know, we might as well do good for them to talk about us because when they talk about you, bad stuff, it won't even bother you. Huh? It won't even bother you. When you know that you're living right and doing the right thing. Amen? So I began to follow this man to God around and him and his wife and come to find out there's some lovely people. And so many times I, in the back of my mind, I could hear him all the time say, everybody is not called to be pastors. And I'm not, I'm not knocking no pastor, don't get me wrong. But the Bible says many are called, huh? But few are chosen. And I do believe down in the bottom of my heart that this man was called, this man was chosen, and he was sent, and he went, and he's still going. Amen? And, you know, so many times I made a, shipwreck in my house. I didn't know how to talk to my wife right. And the Bible says when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing. But the back end of that where, where it is, and he gave, that's my favor right there. Y'all don't hear me. I'm preaching. I ain't gonna be long, y'all. When a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtained favor from God. That's my favor. And, and, and El, I began to listen to this man of God. And I, I went off one time, and she had him on the phone. I didn't know it. And I was, I was going off, El. <laughs> she called apostle on me. But see, that's a good thing, because when, 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 when they can't handle us, they say, if you can't, you can't get along with your brother, take him and come back and go where? Yes, sir. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, hey, y'all, y'all will be able to stop. So anyway, she called Apostle on me. <laughs> I, was, I was mad at the time, but that's all right. I got over it. And one thing about it, you'll get over it. If, if you love God, if you love God, and you love the Apostle and First Lady, you'll get over the rebuke, especially when it's right. Oh, y'all ain't going to talk to me. Especially when it's right. Pastor called me the next day and said, Preacher, don't tear your house up. A Pastor Emma going to tell you right. 14 years, he just like this. He been like this. I like that. He going to tell you right. Daughter, son, I didn't hear. 
he going to tell, brother, he going to tell us right. And when you got a pastor that will tell you right, it don't matter how much dime you putting on the table. It don't matter how much offer you give it. And I heard him say a lot of times, and I, this always stuck with me, when Apostle McMahon used to get him, he used to feed him that money. He'd be quiet. But sooner or later, he said he told him, a hungry dog? And, and y'all know what he said after that. Mad, walk home mad. I ain't going to forget it. See, one thing about I've learned, it's a whole lot different than hearing and listening. And when you can learn to do both, you can get something from this man of God right here. See, a lot of times we, we hear, but we don't listen to what Apostle be saying. He said, Preacher, don't tell your house up. Because it was about tore up from the floor up. And I didn't learn how to talk to my sweet thing. That's my sweet cake, that's what I call it. But all the nine years that I ran through this church, and we ran through calling my name. And when she got with me, my whole life changed in this ministry. You understand, Ellen? Because I began to talk sweet to her. I began to learn how to shut up. I began to learn how to listen to her. And she can tell you now, I, I have come a long way from where I used to be. You know, a lot of times we think we can hide things. We can't hide from God, and we can't hide from Apostle. Because he had picked me so many times. I'd come here on Sunday morning, done been fussing. He picked that thing right up. See, when you're close to the man of God, and you get right in him, he can pick you up just like that. He said, Preacher, what's going on? I said, oh, Pastor, Pastor, I'm all right. He knew I wasn't all right. <laughs> he knew. But that E... G O have got a lot of us in trouble. When I say us, I'm talking about me too. You understand? But saying this to say, Apostle, you got fortune now. And you got fame. Your name is all around. And I know that you won't make God shame. Now, I'm going to leave a thought with you today. If you, I don't want fortune and fame and make God shame. Y'all get your Bible. And I'm going to read, I'm gonna read uh, one or two scriptures and I'm gone. Amen? 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Amen? And we actually, if you would stand for the reading of the word, I'm going to read this one scripture. You could be seated. 15 and 58, he said, Therefore, 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 my beloved brethren, my beloved brethren, therefore, no matter what done happened back then, whatever, but from here on in, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable. Don't, don't move for nobody but God. You always tell me, you're going to do what God said. Don't I believe that from the bottom of my heart until you leave here? Always abounding in the works of the Lord. For as much as you know, that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The fortune and fame, and I know you won't make God shame. Y'all could be seated. Huh? What good is us to have it all? I'm about to, Ella. What good is us to have it all? And we can't bless God, bless God house, bless God man, bless God woman, bless our family. You know, I've learned to 
not muzzle the ox that shredded out the corn. And I've learned, I've learned over the years, and people have seen, and I, I don't show out, I show out for God. But I show out for God because I love this man and woman of God. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do for them. You know, I people say all the time, well, the time Ella woke up, get up preach. He's preaching about giving, yeah. Because I don't know nothing else. That's how I came up, church. Giving. And I have gave my way out to where I'm at now. I lost everything. I went to prison nine months for buying a house for my family. I sat there nine months, prophet. I didn't masturbate not one time. Not one time, Ella. Nine months. I fasted. I wouldn't even go to the hall and eat. Why you ain't eating? I said, I'm on a mission. Didn't have to work. And before I went, I'm going to tell the testimony. I'm about through. When I found out I was going to my wife, church, I prayed for God to take me home. I better hear this. I went on a fast for two weeks. I said, God, take me home. I'm ready to die. I don't want to go to prison. I did, Ella. Ella Pierce, I, fa- I prayed. I said, God, take me home. I got enough insurance. My wife's going to be all right. I got my business fixed with you, Jesus. I, I, I'm ready to die. I, I, that's how I was talking to the Lord every night. About two weeks. Tuesday, one Tuesday night, never forget it. Two o'clock in the morning, Apostle. Wife knocked out, snoring. <laughs> the Lord shows up in my room. And every time he would show up, he would show up like in a ceiling fan. He wakes me up at two o'clock in the morning. My room lit up, just like this light. Lit up. And, I, and w- once he there, tears rolling down my face, Evangelist. Pastor, he says to me, if Paul could go, who are you? Tears rolling down my face. I said, yes, Lord. How did I boast? I said, yes, Lord. Because he had a work for me to do. With this man to God, not even knowing. He prayed for me. He would call me. So I learned when I came back. I said, God, I want to treat this woman like a queen that she deserved to be. Because, you know, we don't know what women go through as men. We don't. We don't know what they go through. They hormones like this. All the time. They hot this minute, they cold the next minute. My wife frees me in the house all the time. I get up under the covers. Got to have it cold. But I don't want the fortune. I don't want my name to be written. And I don't want to have plenty in my pocket. That when I stand before God, he said, Wimbley, depart from me. I know you not. That'll be a sad day. Go on, give me a little bit. I'm about ready. I'm getting ready to go. And I find myself beginning to really give unto God. I find myself really beginning to take care of what belonged to me. And I watch this man of God take care of what belonged to him. He keep her looking good. She keep him looking good. They always pretty much ride together. They, they're doing things together all the time. And uh, <laughs> when things seem to get a little upset sometime in my house, my wife said, I'm going to call Apostle. I'll back up, Ella. <laughs> I don't want her calling Apostle on me. One thing about it, church, we don't want to be in trouble with God for troubling this man of God. He said, when you start troubling the man of God, he used to tell my all the time, Elder, you got me on my knees. I said, Lord, have mercy. Apostle, what you doing on your knees? I'm praying. Because he already has seen what I was doing. 
And I wasn't in the place where I said that I should be to be under this man of God, to be able for him, to, I didn't call Wilcox and send him. I want to be in a place with God, with the man of God, where when he need me, I'm there. I'm doing the right thing. I'm re reminded of a story, and I'm on my way to my seat. <laughs> there was a young rich ruler that had plenty. Oh, he had so much, he didn't know what to do with it. So I can imagine in my mind uh, that he was sitting down in front of his big screen TV one night. Uh, he said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> he said, uh, I got plenty now. <laughs> he said, uh, oh, what am I going to do with all this that I got? <laughs> Sometimes we don't want to give nothing away. <laughs> we got clothes in the closet. <laughs> we got shoes in the closet. <laughs> that we ain't gonna even wear no more. <laughs> but we won't give nothing away. <laughs> and the Bible tell me <laughs> that he was sitting down possible. <laughs> I can imagine he had his legs crossed. <laughs> and he was looking at his big 68 <laughs> screen TV. <laughs> he said, I got it made now. <laughs> I got all that I want. <laughs> but I wanna tell you, Chairman, <laughs> I don't want fortune. <laughs> And I don't want no fame. And at the day of judgment that I make God's shame, I know this man of God here, he will never, somebody say never, make God's shame. And the Bible tell me that he was sitting back and he was enjoying himself. He said, I'm going to eat and I'm going to be merry because I got plenty now. And I got it stored up and then to myself, I can imagine him saying, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tear all this down. I ain't going to give nothing to nobody because I done worked hard all my life. I got all that I want. I don't need nobody. But let me tell you something. In this lifetime, you're going to need somebody. I don't care how much you got. You're going to need somebody. You're going to get sick. Somebody going to have to pray for you. You're going to turn, and nobody not going to be there. And you're going to feel lonesome all by yourself. He was sitting there saying, I got plenty. I ain't worried about nothing. Nobody can do me no harm. I got all that I need. I got all that I want. I'm going to tear these mine down, and I'm going to build some new ones. And I got room. Somebody say room. I got room for plenty. I'm going to store it up. And when the days come on down the road, I ain't got to worry about nobody. Somebody say, yeah. Yes. And later on, I can imagine him sitting there in the middle of the night, smiling. Grinning, said, I got all that I need. Nobody can take nothing from me. But Jesus, Jesus showed up. Said, oh, you fool. Your soul is required to me tonight. What is it good to have fortune and fame? He made God shame. Because he didn't want to give up nothing. He didn't want to give nothing away. And I tell you, when we leave here, we ain't taking nothing with us. We're not taking nothing. I'm almost through. I'm going to my seat. So I've learned to take care of that what's mine and give that, y'all catch this, what belong to God. Because we don't own nothing. That the songwriter say, Vandis, my whole body belong to God. And everything we got, it don't belong to us. But you work for it, Apostle. 30 years. I heard you say, I don't know how I did it. You took care of your wife. You took care of your kids. 26 years. Took care of my wife. Four children. 
You can have anything. He said, those that diligently seek me, he will withhold no good thing from us. And Apostle and First Lady Emily, enjoy your fortune. Enjoy your fame. Because it's your time now. It's your time. And those that are follow you, and those that are take that teaching, and those that are humble themselves, and pray and seek God's face, and turn, then we'll hear from heaven. And he'll heal the land. Yeah, we got all this going on. But we still got to look to the hills. And we still got to obey leadership. We have to do what the man and woman of God say. You know, when, when we don't trouble them, and they don't possibly have to stay, I, I don't think he has to stay on his knees too much for me now. Because <laughs> I know I, I wore his knees out for some years. I did. But I thank you, man of God, for standing for me. When I see, when I couldn't stand for myself, you prayed for me. First lady, you 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 rubbed his back and rubbed his knees probably many nights. Crying out for Ella Wilcox. And today I thank you. I thank you. I don't know if I'd have been with her 26 years now. I was not a good pastor. I was. I'm on a good pastor now. And I do believe if I go anywhere, he'll be the one that's sending me. Until he say so. I'm with you, Pastor Emma. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And not only with this man. With my deeds. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Good God Almighty. Didn't I tell y'all about the fire? Well, it's not over yet. We have one more speaker. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's keep the flames burning as we travel on down to Rhine, Georgia and pick up a, another man of God, amen, who loves to preach and teach the word of God, amen. So get ready as I bring to your front Elder Dwight Inman, amen. Oh, I got a feeling everything gonna be all right. Oh. mother she done told me that everything's gonna be all right oh, she done told me everything's gonna be all right oh my mother she done told me that everything's gonna be all right be all right be all right be all right Gonna be all right. 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 Say all right. All right. All right. Early in the morning. All right. Noon day. Late in the evening. Gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Lord, we come this evening, Lord, saying thank you, Lord. Lord, for an opportunity, Lord. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, on this special occasion, Lord. Lord, that every word that perceive out my mouth, Lord, be pleasing, Lord. Lord, be a help, Lord. Lord, I touch someone in a need right now, Lord. Lord, because down here, Lord, in this old sin-filled world, Lord. Lord, we need you now, Lord. So, Lord, I ask you right now, Lord. Lord, to let little old Ella Dwight Inman decrease, Lord. Lord, that a word will come through me, Lord, and an increase. Lord, I love you. I give you all honor, all glory, and all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every heart say, amen and amen. You may be seated. Thank God for the honorees. My old big brother and, and sister-in-law, you know, that's my pastor and my first lady all at the same time. You have to give honor where honor is due. Amen. I, I, I've been knowing this man all the days of my life. That's my old big brother back there. Now, he's been knowing him all the days of his life. Thank God for my, for my that's the oldest. He the next oldest. I guess I'm, I'm the knee baby. Uh, my old big brother, Doug Emmett, and his wife. Come on, let's give them a hand praise. We, we just thank God for, for my family. My own sweet, sweet wife. Stand up, sweetheart. My, my own sweet, sweet wife of, of uh, get ready now, 34 years. Ain't, ain't the Lord all right? I, I'm going somewhere now. Now, she finally broke down this year and, and let me take her on out there. We, we went out to the Grand Canyon, and, you know, we, we had a good time, you know, and but when I got back, you know, I always like, I'm a retired military man, you know, and the benefits come with it when it's a retired. Uh, we assess the situation, I always do it before and after. And I told her, sweetheart, that we, we did good, we have been there and we did that, but I wasn't satisfied. I, I, I wasn't satisfied, so we, we're going to head out to Niagara Falls here shortly. And, and then, you know, I got, you know, it, it's time right now. You know, you may not can satisfy nobody in this room, Pastor. But every now and then, you got to satisfy yourself. So I told us, sweetie, when we roll out this time, I'm in charge. All I want you to do is, is sit back. Eat, drink, and be merry. It's on me this time. And the story will be told. But if you have your Bible, if you'll go with me to the book of Exodus, around the 17th chapter, if everybody please stand for the word. That's all about respect. I mean, if you're able. Respect for the Most High God. It's not about me. It's not about the past, but it's about respect. And we're going to start reading at the 17th chapter of the book of Exodus, and we're going to read starting at the first verse. And it reads, And all the congregation of the children of Israel joined from the wilderness of sin. After the journey... After their journey, according to the commandments of the Lord, and pitched in Rahadim, and then there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore, the people chided with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide with me. Wherefore do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there of water, and the people murmured against Moses and said, 
Wherefore is that thou hast brought us up uh, out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? L look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to appreciate what you got. You may be seated. Now, we, 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 we living in a time right now where it, 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 it seems like the whole world is on their way to crazy. Am I right about it? Now, I thank God now, my, 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 my baby, my son, he, 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 he started out going to school going to be a medical doctor, but he parted just a little bit too hard and the grades got a little bit too tight. Somebody say amen? Oh, y'all know him. But I thank God that he got one degree in psychology. Ain't God good? Who would have knew back then? Now when he told me, he said, Dad, I'm changing majors, that thing ain't mess with me. I got weak. I couldn't understand. I said, son, you're smart enough, you just don't want to put it into work. The Bible say work wise day when the night come. Ah, yeah. But I thank God that through the grace of God, we still can make it. Somebody say amen. Somebody say you ought to be thankful for what you got. Now, your shack may not look like Apostle's shack, but you ought to be thankful for the shack that you got. We had a point now in life. We had a time in life now. Seemed like nobody don't appreciate nothing. Ah, we're in appreciation today now. Well, he may not be all that you want, or he may not be what you like, or you may can't even stand him. But he all we got. Oh, it's a very, very big word now. It's, it's a very big word when you call somebody pastor. Uh, if somebody spell pastor with a small p, then that ought to tell a story on them. You ought to spell it with a big p and put some parentheses around it. That's what you call respect. Ah, uh, you got to respect somebody. But it seems like in this day and time, uh, somebody ought to say, yes, Lord. Ah, don't nobody get no respect. You, they don't really respect what I do. If you dig down deep enough, uh, you ain't got to go to the neighbor's house. If you open up doors in your own house, can you say yes, Lord? Glory. Yes, Lord. You'll find some disrespect uh, in your own house. <laughs> yes, Lord. See, now, it wasn't nothing that Moses had did. Now, Moses, he was on an assignment from God. Uh, you ought to pray with me uh, just a little while. And uh, God told Moses, he said, I, I, I'm tired, old Pharaoh. Yes, Lord. Had the people down there in bondage. Can you say yes, Lord? Um, uh, uh, if you forward a couple years, uh, they had this thing what they call slavery, right? And everybody was familiar with picking cotton and cleaning master's house. Can you say yes, Lord? Well, ain't the Lord all right? Oh, ain't the Lord all right? If you know that he all right, you ought to say yes. Yes, Lord. But back in those days, uh, everybody was familiar with the stones and the, 
in, in the mud and the straw, but they built buildings trying to form the, the kingdoms. Can you say, yes, Lord? It wasn't a lot of cotton to pick back then. Yes, Lord, it wasn't about hard labor and hard work. And old Pharaoh, he'd work up, he'd wake up and he'd say, work him a little bit harder. Yeah, Lord, work him a little bit longer. Yes, Lord, he didn't have no respect. Yes, Lord, he didn't have no compassion in his heart. Yes, Lord, he didn't have no empathy down on the inside. But he, he was thou as the ruler. Yes, Lord, he, Tyler was named Pharaoh. Yes, Lord, he had total control of the people. He had total control of the kingdom. He had control of control of the work. He had control of control of everything that they did. Yes, Lord, from the time that they woke up. Yes, Lord, to the time that they laid down. Can you say yes, Lord? But I thank God that this is a day of appreciation. Yes, Lord. See, after nine, then it can't be all about you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't be about you all the time. See now, I, I don't, I, I don't need pastor that, 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 that tell me how to pay my bills. But I need him to preach a word uh, that's gonna get me on the right track. Can you say yes, Lord? Ah, uh, pastor can't save me. Ah. Uh, Pastor can't heal me, but through the word that my pastor preached to me, somebody say in season and out of season, I need a word. Yes, Lord, I don't need pastor to come to my house and fix my old run down plumbing. I need a plumber for that. Can you say yes, Lord? <laughs> I don't need pastor to tell me how to raise my children. Can you see yes, Lord? Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't the Lord all right? But I need a word. So I need a word from a pastor. Yes, Lord, I need him to, to, to counsel me if I get out of hand. But I need most of all a word. Yes, Lord. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. You ought to say glory. Oh, I'm going to preach anyhow. Ain't the Lord all right? God is so good. He is worthy to be praised. Now, God got so upset because the people had turned away from him and had started worshiping those idol gods those pagan gods, so God allowed Pharaoh uh, to come down on the people. Can you say yes, Lord? But Moses didn't choose himself now. God chose Moses to lead the people. And the people was mumbling and complaining and grumbling and complaining and murmuring and complaining. They said, Moses, you done got us out for an bondage. When you were set free, what more do you want? Sometimes, Pastor, you, you can't even satisfy the folks in your house. I always tell him when something come up, well, worry about what you can worry about. Get it right if you can get it right. But preach the word. <laughs> just preach the word. You, you just keep preaching the word. And see, God will be pleased, see. In this day and time, what they, what they say folks now, they, they say folks upset. They say folks depressed. They say folks oppressed. But seem like everybody mad. Look at a neighbor to neighbor. What you mad about now? 
Now, now, now you were mad all day yesterday. You've been holding that thing for two or three weeks. You got one or two outs in your back pocket that you can't let go. What you mad about now? Uh, well, I, I, I'm mad. I, I think I'll call pastor. Look at a neighbor and neighbor. Grow up. See, it, 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 my, my son come to me and he told me, he said, Daddy, I, I, I want to start back working with you. I, I got so weak. <laughs> I, I couldn't hardly stand up. I said, I said, Jesus, Mr. Computer Wiz, Mr. I said, he said, no, Daddy, I need to make much money as a kid. He said, I done took a job. I done got me, got me a job now. You know, I start 1st of September, you know. And, and I said, hold it. Put, put the brakes on that, son. You know, he said, train them up in a way that they should go. You know, he's still in my house. He is grown, but, you know, he's around that 23 age. You know, they, the millennials, you can't hardly tell them nothing. Somebody, somebody should have said Amen. I ain't through yet, but I'm, I'm going to go somewhere. Don't worry. <laughs> and he said, Daddy, no, don't worry about it. I got me a job in my field. You know, I said, well, what do, do you do diligence? Now, I, I told him to be smart. Now, you know, God has blessed us with some real smart kids. So they think they can trick us all the time. <laughs> now, some of the time, they, think, they really think now that they can, they can angle around enough, you know, if I like old Michael Jordan, he got successful because couldn't nobody figure out the triangle. You know? <laughs> they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> but they think they can angle us enough now that they are winning the conversation. So everything kind of worked out, you know. And they didn't give him the benefit package he won't, but then he, he got daddy in play, and daddy kind of helped work that out, see. You got to know who you are. Know where you've been at. Know where you can go at, and sometimes know who you can call. Amen. Jesus, somebody say it one time. <laughs> Ain't the Lord all right? Ain't the Lord all right? If you know that the Lord is all right, you ought to say, yeah. God is so good now. See, it's very important now, and this includes the pastor. This is a pastor's appreciation closeout. The people that surround you. See, now, if pastor telling you one thing, see, that's my pastor. Now, I'm preaching to my pastor. I may not be preaching to nobody else's pastor in here, but see, he's my pastor. That's my oldest brother. You know, do, do, do me and pastor agree on everything? No. Do me and Pastor have to agree on everything? Somebody say amen. But Pastor got to preach a word to me that I can sit down and meditate and run a few references and I get what I need to get so I can rule well in my own house. See, I don't, I don't want my wife to call the first lady and say, all right, we're getting, we getting ready to go to, to, to you, you, know how, you know how your brother-in-law is now. You know how Dwight is, you know, I mean, everybody. And, and what you think, I, what kind of dress you think I ought to wear? And I already told her now we're going to take a briefcase full of money and we're going to take two empty suitcases and we're going to shop as we go now. But now she got to call somebody. <laughs> I had to throw that one in there. <laughs> somebody say amen. But it's very important now about the people that you have in your life. It's very important the, the company that you keep. Now I appreciate my pastor. Back in the day, you know, I'd be climbing up them old trees and, and Doug and, 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 and Willie, they'd be standing down on the ground. 
Will it be saying, bro, come on down, you done went too high. They'll be saying, no, nah, it's two or three way out there on that limb out there. Go on, get it, bro. Get them last two, we cash in on them. Uh, I'm the one that always went up the tree. I'm the one that always went up the tree. God is so good. Willie, Willie were, were, I'm talking about my pastor now, I appreciate him. We'd get an assignment picking peas, you know, and back then I was, I was ready, you know, I was like old David, you know. They wouldn't let me get on the truck. Willie, he'd always be driving the tractor, right? Doug, he ain't never want to be out in the fields now. Doug, he was always kind of, oh, he probably can build a skyscraper now. That's an awesome cat right there now. That's true. But, but, Doug didn't want to be in the fields. You could tell the way he was out there. <laughs> and I'd tell the man to give me three or four rows, you know, and he'd look at me. Son, you, you better try to pick that one row that you got. Willie would get him two rows, you know, he'd pick a half a row. Then the man would tell him, come on, Willie, you need to get on the tractor. Willie be on the tractor. At the end of the day now, we'd weigh up. And by one and r running one row, I'd be done pick more peas than everybody out there. I had my mind made up. See, it don't matter what nobody else say or do. That's my pastor. And see, ain't nobody got to convince me one way or the other about my pastor. Somebody should have said amen then. But the next couple of days when I showed up after I proved myself, the man said, well, well, well not Dwight. Son, you, you think you can handle them, them two, three rows there? I said, yes, sir. And I'd go find the, I got two witnesses in here. I'd go find the, the, the three or four rows. That was my goal way back then, to get me four rows with the Moors peas on them. And I began to pick those peas. Everybody else out there complaining about being out in the sun. Somebody ought to say yes, Lord. Complain about it. Really, they 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 roll was was too long. Yes, Lord. I, I figured it out way back then that the longer the roll is and the more peas that it had on it, that I was gonna run that whole course. That I was gonna finish. The man that gave me a chance to, 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 to run four rows, Doug. He gave me that chance and, and I made it up in my mind and my heart that it didn't matter, I was gonna do exactly what I said I was gonna do, and I'd run them four rows. And, and at the end of the day, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of the day, when they weighed up, after the dust is settled, after the greens that boil all the way down to the bottom of the pot, can you say yes, Lord? I had more peas now. I had more peas in my sheet than most of the folks out there. But I've been like that my whole life. See, whatever and whoever you decide to put in your circle, whatever in life you decide to take on, Whatever challenge you decide to take on, you got to mean it in your heart first. A lot of people do a lot of talking in this day and time. Everybody upset, everybody mad about something. That ain't God. I, I, I'm so saved that I can't get along with nobody. That ain't God. Me, me, and, me and my pastor now, this is my pastor here now. See, I'm talking about my pastor see now. So if you get upset, that's your problem. Because this, I got a right. Why do I have a right? Somebody say he's my pastor. See, he 
keep my pastor. I, I, I don't have to say a word. Because he know without a shadow of a doubt. He my pastor. And he know at the end of the day. Somebody say at the end of the day. Uh, we appreciate him. That, that's our pastor. Uh, Moses tried to take those people to the, somebody say, promised land. He, he got them out of the bondage. He got them out of Egypt. Now, there's a lot of folks that got out of Egypt. Boogity, 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 boogity. Right back in Egypt. Got out of Egypt. Boogity, boogity, boogity. When, when you come all the way out of Egypt, Joe, plan, plan your trip to Niagara Falls. And then get, get you some room service. And, and, and see, if the, if, if the word been brought to you right, uh, you won't have to call pastor. I, I, I don't need pastor to, I'm try, not trying to preach on nobody or preach over nobody, but what I'm saying is what I got from my pastor, uh-huh, he said, work quiet day. I've been following him a long time. I don't know how long you've been here, but I'm still here. Uh, ain't too many in the building been here with pastor long as I've been with pastor. I'm talking about that pastor's appreciation today. Uh, he said, bro, <laughs> I'm coming down to Eastman, Georgia. Got to find a little building. <laughs> and I said, come on, bro. <laughs> And we found a little bit of ragged hole in the wall that didn't look like nothing. It used to be what they used to call a junk joint. Can you say yeah? So first we had to go in there. I said, bro, I got it! He said, I'm working. I said, keep on working and take care of my, my sister-in-law and my nieces and my nephews. I said, keep on working, bro. We got it. I'm talking about my pastor now. And, and, and we began to go in there. And the first thing we had to do was get the junk out the joint. Can you say yeah? Ah, but the day that he gave me for opening day, we were ready to go. Can you say yes, Lord? And that was a, a lot, a lot, a lot of years ago. It might have been 26 years ago, and I'm still. I wouldn't remember the end. Ah, but I'm still with my pastor. Can you say yes, Lord? We don't, we don't want to we don't want to, is things going to happen? The Bible says if, if, if they tell a lie, huh? <laughs> then what, what they say? Let it be a lie. Oh, man, they done called me every, all kind of stuff. I, man, man come up to me one day and we were building my house. I thank God for my old brother back here. He come and got me started. Building my house, I wouldn't have never built that house if, if, uh, if he wanted to come and help me, see? See, that, that's somebody that you can depend on, see? But see, I need, see, what I needed from him was that know-how and that he gave me that confidence to get started. It was already in me because I had been around him too long. But see, what I need from him, I don't need a loan from him to go to the Grand Canyon. But what I got to have from him, I got to have that word. See, I got to have the word now. Moses, he didn't know what to do. He cried out to the Lord. Lord, these folks finna stone me. He, he had made up in his mind that these folks was, they had got so unruly and they was complaining and mumbling and grumbling that he had slipped too many times. And, and he went to the most high God and said, Lord, what must I do? He said, Lord, they're at the point now where they finna stone me. That's what we finna appreciate you. We couldn't appreciate you. They, they didn't know no better. A lot of folks are so, 
see, my son, he gonna make he, he gonna make a ton of money. The district person that he talked to is, is a lady. And she said the most sought after thing now in the metal health community is a young black man with a bachelor's degree. And, and, and one year he'll have his master's degree. And she said, if you'll go ahead on and take this job, you can make much money as you want. And, and when you graduate next year, he, she said, we're just going to open the doors open and you can pick the position that you want. But see, now he prepared himself. Everybody told me, boy, you, you're too hard on that boy. Now he done come and ask me for a job. Who would have thought? Pastor, you hold on. What got you here? Preaching that word. You, you preach the word in season. And you preach the word out of season. Whatever you do, go undercover. You know, I like, you say we're underground. And the Bible say that whenever he bless you, he'll do it so the whole world can see. See, a lot of years ago, see, my brother told me now, he said, bro, go home. It's, it, it's getting too heavy. And I, I, I called myself to be, you know, now he, he was the heavyweight champ back in high school, but I was the lightweight champ now. I was never too scared now until I went to Grand Canyon now. You know, infantry for 28 and a half years. But, but, but he, he said, bro, he said, go on home. And I didn't change words. So I said, I'm gone, bro. Because it was heavy then. It was, he know where I'm coming from. And see, by him telling me to go on, get out and come on back home, I, I, I changed my life. I changed my life, Joe. I didn't walk or I didn't run like I used to run. I changed my steps. When I, when, I, when, I, when I come back home, that little bitty lady, she got another one of her shots. So she was feeling a little weak today. Uh, she, she met me at the door. And I automatically had to come to attention and straighten up. And I began to change my life. I, I like what the elder said. At some point, saints, it don't matter what the world going to say, because they, they said everything about me. They done said everything about my brother sitting back there. They done said everything about my brother sitting right there. But the only thing it did was fuel the fire. When you sold out to the Lord, you got your mind made up. Then a mountain, it become a molehill. Some folks, it take them all day long to get up out the bed. Ah, but when you change your life, and turn it over to the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. I heard a man say that, he said, I'll ride my lawnmower all over town. Take care of my family. Somebody ought to say yes, Lord. When, when you hear stuff like that coming out of man's mouth, that this man say he learned how to talk to his wife. Yes, Lord. How to stand down and begin to love and love right. See, in, in this old crazy world now, when no, nobody want to do right, it's time for us. It's time for us to do right. It's time to dig down on the inside and examine yourself and forgive and love. But Moses hadn't did nothing but try to help the people. But he was at the brink right then that if, if he slipped one time, they was ready to stone him. That's a lot of people right now. They're going to dig as hard as they can and find that one little bit of thing that you may did have a arrow on. Can you say yes, Lord? But will you take another minute and dig down far enough to find all the good that he done did for us? Can you say yes, Lord? All the prayers, all the thoughts, all the visits, can you say yeah? Where everything might have not have been right to you, stand down. Yes, Lord, but I ain't got but one plan now. 
I told my wife, I said, baby boy finna leave us. It's gonna be all about me and you. I said, sweetie, we gonna trim down. We gonna, we gonna get our, our health in order. We gonna start eating right. I said, everything to get cooked in this house, I said, you cook it. I said, cook better when you shop, shop better. We don't have to go to the nickel and dime aisle now. Go to the $10 aisle. Somebody ought to say an amen on that one. God have blessed us. We are truly blessed. I thank God for my pastor. I went, I've been with my pastor all of my life. I appreciate him. I thank God for my sweet sister-in-law. I appreciate her for putting up with him. Oh, see, I know him. I appreciate my, my sister-in-law out there for putting up with him. Because, see, I know him. Ain't God good? God is so good. But, see, we are in a new season now. God is not pleased. When something happened all over the world to everybody all at the same time, it can't nobody in the whole wide world figure it out. Ah, it got to be Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's time now. Ah, if you started on that flower bed, you ought to commit to that flower bed. Stay right there until you can get the flower bed done. Then move on up to repairing the steps on the back porch. Somebody ought to say yes, Lord. Ah, if you drive a, 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 a 10 year old car, then move up to a seven year old car. Stay in your lane. Because, see, if your credit score say one thing, that's your lane. If your credit score say another thing, then that's your lane. If you stay in your lane, see, you, 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 we got to get all this out of our heart, whatever it is. So we got to love each other. Ah, we ain't, we ain't gonna throw no stones in here. We, we in the year of 2021. And, and we got a president, he, he trying to, well he say, well he want bipartisan relationship with the Republicans. He, he done lost his mind. Man, you better go head on and do what you can do. It was about like Moses. He, he was ready to quit several times. He was ready to quit several times. But he kept on going. Pastor, you're doing a good job. Thank God. You know, it, it, look at the neighbor. Say, neighbor, what would I do if I was in his shoes? Amen. See? It's easy. Especially this day and time to get mad. It's easier to get upset. It's even easier to get up and walk out, throw your hands up. But can you stay the course? In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at a neighbor. It's a neighbor. Whatever you got, you got to learn to appreciate it. Say, Pastor, we appreciate you. Now everybody get up on your feet and give him a hand praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I can't get so caught up on worrying about everybody else, Pastor. But I thank God for the pastorship that you have afforded me and my family down through these years. I know where I'm at now. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know who to call. Somebody ought to say Jesus. Somebody ought to say Jesus. Call a name. Call his name. What's his name? What's his name? Uh, when I
when I get in trouble. Ah, late at night, I'll call in names. Jesus. Back into the hands of the moderator. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Didn't we have a double edition? Amen. Glory to God. Oh, the word on today. Amen. Preaching and teaching. Amen. They took us on down in that word on today with fire. Hey, glory to God. Amen. And the anointing on today. Amen. They broke that word on down, didn't they? Amen. Glory to God. Thank God for the word on today coming from Elder Wilcox. Amen. Praise God. And Elder Dwight Emmon on today. Amen. Praise God. We're getting ready for another part of our service that we can all take part of. Amen. Praise God. And it is offering time. Amen. Praise God. We're getting ready to call our... 